I was introduced to you by Jose Luis, um, the director of projects mm -hmm. and developments, um, because also we're involved with uh, Pueblo Benito with the Baja Capstone Group um, on our first project in Sinit. Mm -hmm. And so you guys are going to be involved in helping planning out similar type of programs, correct? Yes, that's it. <clears throat> and so that's really exciting because then we can work even more closely. So everyone, you'll see their faces and names more often as we're building out the amenities of Sini and the other projects with the Baja Castle. Welcome to the Nick Fong Podcast. As the broker and owner of Ronaval Real Estate, Nick has spent nearly 20 years in Baja, California, sir. And in this podcast, he'll be talking everything Baja, from food and culture to real estate and property management. And now, here's your host, Nick Fong. Here we go. All right, welcome back to the podcast. We have two guests, Paloma Palacio and Christian Remke. Director of the Q Life and Director of Operations at Kibera. Correct. And I wanted the both of you to join us to introduce the Q Life and the, the Master Plan Community of Kibera. So, where do we start? Ladies first. So, <laughs> Paloma, Director of the Q Life, why don't you tell everyone what the Q Life is? Well, Q Life at Kibera Los Cabos is a, well, it's a luxury uh, style lifestyle program that we have there for all our residents at the community uh, where they can enjoy experiences among with the friends and the family. It's just a uh, place and experiences for them to, uh, you know, live the life at Kibera. So, for example, um, it's not just buying a condo or house, which is what we do, um, but it's a lifestyle. Yes. And so, what are the things that are a part of well, one of the things that we've learned is that when you are buying in a community, uh, you want to meet your neighbors, you want to meet your best friends. So that's what you're providing to them. You're providing them with great experiences where they can meet their best friends, where their family can meet other families and play together, you know, have activities together. Uh, so we do, for example, uh, a lot of activities for them. Uh, but, for example, something that they enjoy a lot is to learn Spanish lessons. Uh, we do uh, salsa classes, we do uh, Pilates, yoga, uh, uh, power flex, a lot of fitness uh, activities for them, among of all the other hot spots that they have in the area, you know, uh, biking, hiking, and a right of things that I think will be kind of like given away during the podcast. Yes, so one of the things that we talked about couple of weeks ago when we first met each other at the Kibera Beach Club Correct. Um, was the Botanical Garden. Yes. And so remind me the name of the Botanical Garden because it was an interesting name. Okay, the name is Amakiri and Amakiri comes from the word Amukiri, uh, that it's a word from the Waikuras, uh, which is our ancestors here in Baja South, and it means a, pl a, a place to play. So we see Amakiri as the backyard of the community where a lot of experiences happen and a lot of friends are met. And there's a, a special little feature amenity yes. in the Botanical Garden. Uh, tell everyone about that. Well, that's La Choya, Wandering Kitchen, and that's our baby in the in Kivira. Uh, it's a food truck that uh, showcase different uh, food. You know, we, we try at the beginning to do a day, a different day of menu. Like one day we had hot dogs, another day we had hamburgers, taco night. Uh, we did uh, a lot of like an array of different menus and the favorites came into one big menu for all the community that they enjoy. So if they, whether they want a taco or they want a salad or they want a really good clam chowder that they have, it's, it's amazing. Uh, so you, you have to try it. Um, so they can go there at La Choya and enjoy it. Awesome. How many owners are currently in Kibera? Homeowners between condos, houses, because there's different housing uh, communities that make yes. up Kibera. Is it in the hundreds, thousands? How many are we talking about? Well, we're talking about a lot of them, yes. And ones that are coming to the market soon, correct? Yes. And so, Christian, uh, handing the baton off to you, 
the director of operations. You're not from the area. No, no. I uh, recently joined uh, Kivira a year ago. Uh, I'm an hotelier. I did uh, 21 years with Four Seasons. Had the opportunity to travel with the company around the U.S., uh, Santa Barbara, Scottsdale. Uh, my residential background came in, in Punta Mita, where I lived uh, for seven years. Uh, I went back to Mexico City as hotel manager. And then the opportunity came to, to move to Los Cabos. My family and I are, are very much in love with living on, on the beach. So the opportunity came to join uh, Kivira a year ago. Uh, and as you can see, Kivira, is, it's, it's, a, it's a huge community. It's 750 acres, uh, hectares, hectares, sorry, hectares yeah. uh, where you have uh, composed uh, hotels, Pueblo Bonito hotels. You have a, a Jack Nicklaus golf course. You also have a beach club, which is currently under construction. It's a it's a, for residents and should be opening uh, Q3, end of Q3 of this year. This year? Yes, this year. Oh my gosh. It is. It is it's going to be an, it's something that owners are expecting yeah. uh, for a long time. So we're, we're delivering that beach club at, at a couple of months. Uh, we, we just signed with Jack Nicklaus the second golf course. So we should be starting construction at the end of the year. And the course should be ready by, by the end of 24. So that's going to add another uh, amenity to, to the Kivira. Uh, Residential-wise, as you know, it's, it's a big community. I would say more than 500 owners currently uh, between Copala, Mavila, and uh, Coronado. We're currently constructing uh, Alvar, which is uh, another uh, piece of land right beside the St. Regis, which is also under construction and will be inside the gates of, of Kivira. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're keeping busy. Yeah. We're very keeping busy. It's, it's interesting, over 20 years in hotel, uh, the hotel industry, and now going into the residential side, what are the differences that you've seen in the first year on the job? Well, I can tell you from experience. When, when I moved uh, first to Punta Mita and uh, I had a cocktail with owners, uh, a Canadian uh, owner approached me and, and she said, well, I'm Sandy Howard and I'm an owner, not a guest. So <laughs> very, just, very, very strictly. No, yeah. it's like I don't, I, I don't mingle with the hotel. I'm an owner. Uh -huh. So uh, my expectations are, are very high. Yeah. So yes, basically on the residential side, you create this bond with the owners. It's not like in an hotel. Basically, you check in, you check out, and you, know, you don't know if the guests will eventually return. In the residential side, you have an owner which uh, might go home and then eventually come back. So you start creating those relationships, friendships. No, it's like they're, they're, they become your friends. Because you have to deal with them in a lot of things, no? Eventually, maintenance-wise, uh, financial-wise. So, so you create that bond with them. Hey, thanks for being a part of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast to get the latest updates. And if you're watching this on our social channels, please like and share. And if you want to be featured or you want me to talk on a certain topic, food, activities, culture, real estate in the Baja, drop a comment. And in Punta Mica, they have the hotel, the Four Seasons, yeah. but also residences. You have uh, three components in Punta Mita, which is the residence club, which is fractional. Mm -hmm. And then you have the private villas, which is full ownership, and the private uh, residences, which is also full ownership. And within the community, there's around 15 sub-condominiums. 15? 15, yes. Wow. Different uh, sub-condominiums between uh, condos and, and houses. So that would be like the equivalent of in Kibera, Copala, exactly. Correct. Uh, Correct. Okay. Correct. Okay. Plus the two hotels, which is the St. Regis and the Four Seasons, and the two golf courses. Okay. What advantages do you think Kibera has having the hotels in the community, like the Pueblo Benito, the mm -hmm. Pacifica, and soon to be St. Regis? Well, I think it's, it's the amenities, the amenities that the community provides. So a good example is the market, you know, the market at Kivira, which is this culinary hall where all the owners may go and, and enjoy different types of, of food and, and uh, beverages. 
So it's that the, the, the amenities that the community delivers or hands out to the owners. Yeah, they have access to uh, more than 30 uh, restaurants right now. Yeah, more than 30 within the community. So whatever you want to have that day that you have that you're craving, uh, for sure in one of the, the places you'll find it. So you really don't have to leave the community. No. No. Maybe the, uh, an occasional grocery store, Costco run. Well, we do have a Kivira concierge that can provide that for you. And if you want grocery shopping, you just give them the list of what you want and they'll bring it to your home. Oh, wow. And is that only for residents? For a residents, okay. yes. For, because also people rent. Yes, if you are renting, you can also, uh, uh, you know, you, we can facilitate it for a Kivira concierge for you. The, the Kivira concierge was recently launched. And uh, the purpose of the Kivira Concierge is, is to have services and, and uh, the quality of your standards of, of service are equal on every subcondominium. So basically you have the same concierge staff assisting different owners from different communities. Right. So whether you own in Mavila, Coronado, Elbar, Correct. Um, okay. Ala, it's all the same. And they're from 7 in the morning to 10 p.m. Monday to Sunday. Oh, wow. See, I didn't even know that. That's yeah. uh, nice. And we have several clients that are in Kibera. Yeah, you can WhatsApp them. You can call them. You can send them an email. You can go and visit it to their offices. So uh, any mean that you want to reach them, uh, they're available. And another cool thing is, as an owner, the folio. So yes. you don't have to deal with cash. No. It's, you have a credit card on file. You just charge it to your folio number, and um, we actually had that at the clubhouse. Okay. We were there last week or two weeks ago, and um, yeah, they don't accept. Well, cash. basically, basically, yes. You what uh, what happens with the folio is uh, that's another feature of I would say residential services mm-hmm. or property management, right? Which they they manage all those folios, and then eventually year uh, month end those folios get closed by by one of the concierge uh, members. For, uh, for so eventually you, you just get the folio and then pay. Sorry, for those of you listening, folio it means because probably we oh, know yes, what yes, it means, yes. uh, but uh, folio is that we kind of like open a credit to our owners. And we know who they are. They, we have their information, their owners. So, you know, we kind of like have tabs on them. And at the end of the month, they close it and they sign everything. So it's just really easy for them to be around the property, to go any restaurant, yeah. anything that they need within the property. And everything is just being charged to their, to their accounts. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, Paloma, what are some of the exciting things that is being planned that you can maybe tell Oh, <laughs> secrets. Maybe, maybe secrets. Secrets. the secrets, the secrets. Know, well, course. there's a lot of things coming on the wellness areas and the wellness area, I can say. Um, I'm a kitty is kind of like right now, one of the big projects that we have, um, you know, as you said, it's a botanical garden, and we're doing um, a lot of project, big project around the Amakiri area. Uh, one is that um, every plant that is there, it's protected, and we do take care of them. But we're now gathering with a personal, you know, a botanical person to have information on each plant and the importance of that area and that plant and what it represents to, to the world. You know, the, the reality is it's to taking care of nature. So big project on that is coming and another big project on the wellness area we'll have there in Amakiri. Fantastic. Yes. And I was introduced to you by Jose Luis, um, the director of projects mm-hmm. and developments. Um, because also we're involved with uh, Pueblo Benito with the Baja Capstone Group um, on our first project in Sanit. And so you guys are going to be involved in helping planning out similar type of programs, correct? Yes, that's it. And so that's really exciting because then we can work even more closely. So everyone, you'll see their faces and names more often as we're building out the amenities of Sanit other projects with the Baja Capstone Group. Yes, yes as, as, as you mentioned, Jose Luis is the chief development officer and, and we're very blessed in, in having a very strong group which has uh, delivered uh, the necessary budgets for us to eventually, as Paloma was saying, build those new projects uh, and, and be able to grow the amenities and the experiences for the owners. You know? And Senid and is another uh, example. 
So that's fantastic. And there's one amenity you didn't mention that I really like is that dog park. Oh yes. Everyone loves a dog park. You know, we do have a dog park for the community and it's one of the features a lot of people love. Eventually, we'll be able to do more things uh, with the dogs, you know, like maybe we can have a trainer. Uh, we can facilitate a lot of things for them. Do people ever ask for dog sitters? Dog sitters, they haven't, you know, they haven't yet. Uh, but yeah, if they want a dog sitter, we can help. We love dogs, yes. you know, in our team, in the Q-Life team. We really love them. Fantastic. Well, Christian, Paloma, thanks for joining us. And everyone, um, you'll see, be seeing these two more often. Until the next one, bye for now. Thank bye. you. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ronaval Real Estate. And follow Nick on Instagram at nickfong underscore Ronaval. Ready to find your Baja dream home? Check out the latest property listings at ronaval.com or findmexicohouses.com. Hasta luego.